Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order. I did that wrong. Anyway, welcome back to our Pokemon Coliseum playthrough, episode number 18. We just finished up with... Well, what did we do last time? We went to Agate Village, and I believe the first thing that we did, we made sure we can make use of the... What did we do? Had the Time Flute. We used the Time Flute to summon Celebi. I remember that from the thumbnail. Entei is fully purified, just waiting in the PC for a possible spot to open up on the team, which admittedly I don't want to happen. I don't want to lose any of the Pokemon that we have because they've been with us for so long. Poor Makuhita didn't have a chance. But anyway, the rest of them are still here with us. And we then came here to... No, we went to this mysterious laboratory in the middle of nowhere. And we got an email from, I believe... Who was it? Somebody. We came back to Pyrite Town found out that uh, someone had a key to this elevator in this building here in Pyrite Town, so without wasting any more time of trying to remember what we did, feel free to check out that episode. We want to check out the team. Is everyone leveled in the proper order? I believe so. Pom Pom at level 33, our Jump Plup is up first. Gentle Nature with Chlorophyll ability. Mega Drain, Sleep Powder, Sun Spore, nope, Cotton Spore. And Synthesis, I'm trying to talk too quick here. Woodsy the Noctowl at level 35 is next, also Gentle Nature with Keen Eye ability. Take down, fly hypnosis, and reflect. We've got Snagsire the Quagsire at level 35. Next with Quick Claw, which always throws me for a loop. I never remember that she's holding it. She always goes first. Well, not always, but when she does, I'm like, how did you outspeed? And then I'm starting to remember. Modest Nature with Water Absorbability. Surf, Mudshot, Yawn, Amnesia. Next is Whiskers the level 36 Persian with the Silk Scarf item. Quirky Nature, uh, I was going to say Holding Limber ability, with Limber ability. And Payday, Faint Attack, Thief, and Screech for the moves. Next is Aerodactyl, level 37, with Mild Nature and Pressure ability. Wing Attack, Earthquake, Steel Wing, and Sky Attack. And last but not least, almost caught up to the team, Duking's Plus at level 49, holding the Experience Share for the time being. Also Gentle Nature with the Plus ability. Spark, Fake Tear, Sunder Raven, Helping Hand. So, it is now time to sneak past, I think her name is... Kai, I believe, this chaser out here. Let's see if we can sneak past her like we did last time. I don't want to battle if unnecessary, or if possible. Anyway, we snuck past. We do have the key to access this elevator now. We're going down. I actually am recording this the night before you're watching it, if you're watching it on the day that it comes out, because I wanted to finally have a full day early in the morning to go look for Zapdos in Pokemon Go. So I have the energy to record this. I just finished the Pokemon TCG video, which you might have seen earlier today. There's no time for this. Welcome to the Under. Oh, wait a second. It's been a long time since anyone has come down here. What is this? The door is locked. Oh, okay. Where do we go? Lady Venus is very cautious. Except for her TV appearances, she is rarely seen. Alright, so this is this mysterious underground place beneath the pyrite where Fateen, the fortune teller, said she could sense some sort of evil presence or something, evil shadow. Oh, this is awesome. <coughs> Pardon me. Vending machine. What do we want? You can only buy one at a time, of course. We'll get one of each. That's a weird spacing for that, isn't it? Watch this. Chaz put the soda pop away. It has its own line, like... I don't know. Let's grab ourselves a lemonade anyway. One of each, as I said. And we'll take them with us. Now, of course, I like how they... What? No, leave me alone. Let me go! I like how they made it so in later generations you can buy multiples at once. At least they did that, didn't they? You're a trainer, aren't you? Did you come to enter a Coliseum challenge? Sure, I'll take more TMs. Huh, I don't mean any offense, but you don't exactly look tough. I'll test you to see how well you can battle. Oh, here we go. Everyone thinks they're a champion all of a sudden. I've had three Pokemon League Championships under my belt. You guys all think you can challenge me with a Skitty and an Oddish. And a level 34 and a level 35. I'm sorry. This just can't be. No, we gotta go for the fly attack. We gotta... <coughs> now, notice how Jump Pluff looks a lot like Oddish, don't you think? Do you think that was, like, intentional to make people think something strange evolution-wise might happen there? I don't know. Anyway, there's no way that this Oddish is going to put any of us to sleep. Poison powder might be a thing. Stun Spore could also be a thing. But, yeah, grass types are not immune to the Spore attacks in this generation yet, are they? It's not till Gen 6, I believe, that came in. Never mind, they go for Acid. Oh, that's super effective. But it's not that powerful. Yeah, if you missed the Pokemon TCG video, if you're interested in Pokemon TCG, I will say go back and check that out. It's a crazy... It's, okay, so I always say I've got crazy ideas for my strategies. This is possibly... I say this a lot. This is possibly the craziest strategy I've ever had. No, I don't think anything beats my uh, 
Milo Tick knocking themselves out with Serene. Is it Serene Grace? No, that's the uh, Togekiss. What is it called when uh, knocked out? Or knocked out? Uh, Milo Tick knocks itself out. I don't know. I lost it. But having my own Pokemon knock themselves out to power up my Marowak Breaks Bone Revenge attack. That was a crazy strategy that actually worked pretty decently. But this one today, oh, it's so fun. It's so crazy. So many possibilities can happen from it. So I believe our next best bet is to go for a simple takedown into the Oddish. As long as we don't miss, we'll take that if we can do any more Acid Sprays against us. Nope, not Acid Spray. That's a move later. <coughs> I can't stop coughing. I should really have water on hand so whenever my throat's all dry and itchy and scratchy and itchy, I can just rehydrate it. Anyway, down goes the Oddish. Oh man, we hurt ourselves again? Takedown, why you gotta be so mean? Notice how Oddish in this game no longer loses its, uh, I almost said feathers. I, what am I thinking? Notice how Oddish does not lose its leaves in this generation. I believe in Stadium and Stadium 2, maybe just Stadium 1, it, like, the leaves fell off of its head when it got knocked out. A lot of Pokemon had some pretty strange ways of getting knocked out in those games. Porygon, Magnemite, fall apart. You know, if you look at Jinx when it gets knocked out, critical hit first of all, good stuff there Pom Pom. When Jinx gets knocked out, it sucks into its own hair, which lands, and then that goes back to the Pokeball. So stuff like that always had me thinking, is Jinx technically just the hair? Like, who out there saw the TV show Reboot when it was on? It was a computer generated, kind of like this looks like here, right, but computer generated 3D animation, like uh, I guess you could call it sci-fi, it was like an action adventure kind of thing, and what made me think of that? Hang on. Uh, what made me think of that? I was talking about... Man, my train of thought just completely went off track. Oh man, we got Cute Charm now too. Oh man, nothing's going right today. Oh man, Astonish. Oh man, that does nothing. All right, what is the next best bet? This is going to keep defense curling. I guess we just keep going for, uh, I guess Mega Drains is the best way here. And poor Woodsy. Got attracted by the uh, Jigglypuff over there. What made me think of Reboot? Come on now. What the heck was I just talking about? Immobilized by love, come on. You know what? If I don't remember what I was going to say, this is going to bother me. I can just go back and watch the, uh, or listen to the audio again, because I'm sure it'll jog my memory. But I don't want to do that. That's the, I was going to say that's the coward's way out. It's not the coward's way out. It's the simple way out. It's the easy way out. It is not the way I want to do this. I must remember what was happening at that point. Ah, don't you hate that? When like It's like when you walk into a room, and you're like, I know I came in here for a reason, but... You can't, for the life of you, remember what that reason is. So you just stand there, staring at a wall until it comes back to you, and it never does. Or it's almost like sometimes I'm looking for an item that I've, you know, set somewhere. I don't remember where it's at, and I, you know, go everywhere trying to find that item. And it's not until I give up, like you know, I've searched for maybe a half hour, and I can't find it. I'm just like, never mind. I'm never going to find this thing. And later on, you're like, oh wait, now there's this other thing I need to find. So you go look for the other thing. You find the first thing that you couldn't find before. You guys ever have that happen? I've had it happen. Maybe I'm just getting old, I'm getting forgetful. Oh, Jigglypuff. Wait. Falling apart. I remembered! Yes! Okay, so, when Jinx gets sucked into its hair, goes back to the Pokeball. If anyone saw the TV show Reboot, there was a character when they go into the World Wide Web called uh, the, the Surfer, basically. He was the web surfer, and it was interesting. He was like a humanoid character who rode around on a surfboard. I guess kind of like Silver Surfer in a way, but it turned out that the surfboard was the actual character, and the humanoid, um, I guess you know, what you call it, avatar, was just a way that the board interacted with other humanoid characters in the shell. That was a pretty interesting kind of thing, because like, you see at one point, Someone tries to hit the surfer with like a baton or something, and he just kind of stands there and looks at it. But then when they hit the board, the surfer kind of collapsed. That was a pretty interesting thing. So that makes me think of how, is the hair for Jinx the actual Pokemon? I don't know. 
Let me know this down below, though. How well do you think I rambled on and kept this battle interesting for as long as it went on? That was like one third of the video, at, at least, maybe even more. You are strong. I guess there's no judging people by their appearance. Hey, what are you talking about? I look tough. I look rough and tumble. I look... Well, I don't know why I have a blue trench coat or whatever, but... Let's go heal. <sighs> I knew there was a cutscene. All right. I don't think I can do this voice justice with my throat the way it is, but we're going to do our best. Not you, you're regular. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for The Undertime, again today. Without further ado, let's bring out that special summon we've all been waiting for, Lady Venus, please. Hi, everyone, it's me, your Venus. Everyone's Venus, that's me. I have something terribly important to share with you today. It's horrid. There are spies right here in The Under. Can you imagine? We don't really know all the details, but if you see anyone suspicious, please let us know. Everyone, please, I'm counting on you. We need you to get lots of information for us. Why is she leading the under? I mean, the under. Like, she doesn't look like she belongs here. And that was Lady Venus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Please do tune in again. No. All right, so that's that. No way. They know that we came here already? Chaz, we're going to have to be cautious. Yeah. Uh, let's sneak around the Oh, there's no back way to sneak around. Okay, um... Have you seen any spies? They they went that away. The spies that snuck into the under. It's gotta be you. Am I right or am I right? No. Hmm, you're right. You don't look like spies to me. Yeah. I'm not shaken or stirred. Hey, a shop! Wait, I know this shop. They sell, like, the Thunder and, uh, Blizzard TMs. I remember. I remember things. I was thinking. The guy next to me browsing. I think he's a spy. Shh, don't stare at the guy. I mean, this guy? The kid next to me keeps checking me out. It's distracted. Am I that cool or what? Obviously. I mean, that's got to be the only reason. Do you have time to hear an old man's tale? Yeah, it's only 1.30 in the morning, sure. There once was a man who made a fortune in the mines of the under. When he ended up, I don't know. I only hope he uses vast wealth for doing good. And it's still 1.30. Okay, good stuff. We had plenty of time for that. Hello, what do you sell? Uh, can we buy some potions? Ooh, we can buy some potions. Wait, they don't even have super potions anymore. They already give you max potions? That's crazy. I'm gonna grab another, uh, I think, ten of these. Oh, they do have the TMs here. I just spent all my money, just about. So that is Blizzard. We've got Hyper Beam. Uh, light Screen. Double, t is that Double Team or Protect? I think that's Protect. Yeah, Protect. Uh, that is Safeguard. Thunder, Reflect, Fire Blast, Hidden Power. Okay, so, do we need any of these? Hang on, let me think. I guess I could get Blizzard for Snag Sire. I'm gonna, I don't know, I kind of want one. Okay, Thunder, Fire Blast. I don't think any of our Pokemon can learn Fire Blast. I kind of want to get Blizzard. It's not super accurate in this generation. I'm gonna get one. I know Quagsire is not really specially offensive, but ours is modest, so that could be kind of helpful. And I'm pretty sure you can learn Blizzard. I hope you can. Let's find out. Alright, can you get it, Snagsire? Yes! It's gonna help all the grass types we're not gonna keep you in against. Alright, let us switch out, I think. We'll probably get rid of Amnesia. I want to keep Yawn because it's going to be useful for trying to capture things. Let's go with Blizzard on our good old Quagsire. Let's hope it comes in handy. That was a good amount of money we just dropped. So you got to upstairs. Let's see what the upstairs is all about. Yes, I said uh, upstairs. Sometimes I like to not speak proper grammatically junk because why not? It's fun. Lady Venus is the unders. No, she's my idol. For Lady Venus, I could do anything. But even though I'm so near to her... I've not even seen a glimpse of her in person. Oh, it hurts deeply. Lady Venus! That man has got an obsession. We're going to ignore all of this. We're going to leave and find ourselves... Wait, I forgot. There is no Pokemon Center here. But there is a place to heal. We can't get to it yet. Speak to me, cowboy man. If it's the Coliseum that you're wanting to go to, you can ride that UFO there. You do have the proper operating discs, right? Yeah! I used DOS in my day. Alright, there's no problem, is there? So, let's check out the ground floor here. Look at this place! I get this weird sort of, I don't know, a, a 
vibe and image from all these neon signs and stuff. I don't know. Really nitty gritty stuff it looks like. Speak to me! Did you hear? This cipher admin named Akeem was beaten down. Gee, uh, what? Low, low down, ruffian, handsome, you know, really nice guy did that. That's the second admin to go down after Meyer B. The enemy must be pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, we should probably just give up the plan now, right? You know, because I'm not a spy, and it's the smartest thing to do. We can't beat him. We get ourselves three hyper potions. Oh, we just spent all that money on hyper potions. I mean, I guess, you know, three more is not bad. So what's going on in here? Oh, wait. Hello. Welcome to the Underground Hotel. It's 1,000 a night. Will you be staying with us? No. Not just yet. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you'll stay with us next time you visit. My scratchy throat really helps with this old man's voice. Oh, sorry, Rui. You got left behind. Oh, sorry, Rui. You're still here. Oh, wait a minute. Got ourselves another little uh, news feature going on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for the Undertime again. Lady Venus, please. I gotta do that voice again. Hi, everyone. It's me, your Venus. Everyone's Venus. That's me. I'm very disappointed. The spies haven't been caught yet. Can you imagine? Everyone, please. I'm counting on you for more cooperation. Smarten up. And that was Lady Venus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Please do tune in again. That was a pretty short episode of The Venus Show. Okay, so here's the plan. If I spot a spy, what I'll do is clear the area and shout really loudly to startle the spy. While the spy startled, you jump him and subdue him. How is that for a plan? Huh? What do you two want? We're having an important chat here. Leave us alone, here. I hear nothing. I find Venus repugnant. I can't stand that type of cheap coin isn't anyone. What is with that? I'm your Venus stick. It's revolting. Oh, she's my Venus. What is with these peoples? <laughs> my partner's the brains of us two. His plans always work. But, you know, I always seem to be the one getting hurt all the time. You should probably think for yourself, if possible, and throw your own plans up there. Hey! Spies! I see spies! Spies! Uh, where? Oh, wait. That can't be right. Real spies would look much stronger. Sorry, my mistake. You're right. I'm a wimp. Let's get out of here before they think otherwise. The winner of a Coliseum Challenge gets to meet Lady Venus in person and receive a Shadow Pokemon. One day, I'm going to enter and get me a Shadow Pokemon. Before that, I'll test the opposition starting with you. Here goes. I mean, I want the training anyway. I'm acting like I'm upset, but Gurks is going to challenge me. Now, here's a thought. Is the G pronounced like giraffe or grand? Because if it's like giraffe, this guy's name is Jerks. And he sent out a couple of underwhelming Pokemon. I'm going to Mega Drain. Now, what is really funny here, technically the Feebass is the scarier of these two. Yes, if one of them has to be scary, it is the Feebass. It can actually learn egg moves, and can it learn TMs? I don't think it can get TMs, but it can learn some TM moves, I think, from being bred to have. Magikarp, on the other hand, is just Tackle, Splash, and Flail. Not in that order. Splash, Tackle, and Flail. That's the order. As you can see, looks like this Feebass might be just the same. And... <laughs> Can't even do that right, Magikarp. Can't even do a simple tackle. Now, these are at the proper level, I believe, to have Flail, so that could be a little bit scary, but the attacks out of these things, nothing really worried about. Wait a minute, is he going to have a Gyarados next? He might have a Gyarados next. Or a Milotic. That wouldn't be as scary. Got a Gyarados kind of kind of scary. Never mind. Now, look at this. Look at the size of Wailer. This game keeps the Pokemon to their proper scales, including the trainers. Watch this. You can see it in the background there. Oh, you got a critical attack on Magikarp? Calm yourself down. Look at the size of Wailer. I cannot wait until Wailer is introduced in Pokemon Go. You're going to see that in the game. Maybe. They might have to scale it down a little bit, but I hope they don't. That would be hilarious if it stays the way it is. How did I run out of Mega Drains already? Hmm. Well, that calls for a Sleep Powder. Take a nap, Whale Lord, as we go for Fly Attack on the Magikarp again. Gotta dodge those tackles. Yeah, of course we're gonna miss. Up we go. What does Whale Lord try to go for? Water? Ooh, Water Spout might hurt. But I mean, Pom Pom resists it. Woodsy's in the air. Should be alright. You're gonna astonish. Really? Whale Lord, what are you doing, man? You try to astonish a normal type while it's flying. Take a nap, man. Dream up some better strategies. Watch it have sleep talk. 
Can it learn Sleep Talk? I don't know. Now, can we drop this magic up with a fly? As long as we don't miss, which we don't, we're good. <coughs> Pardon me. Hmm, do we have any way to restore PP? I think we picked up some uh, ethers or something. Look how little experience we get. I was going to say, if Plusso levels up off that Magikarp, I was going to feel kind of sad. Uh, we've got... We do have an ether. But we're almost at the point we can just go heal up, I think. We're going... We could actually, for a hundred... Sorry, a thousand dollars, we can just go ahead and rest up. I'm just going to go with a Cotton Spore, I guess. I could go for a takedown. Now, Wailord is huge, of course, but I don't think the defenses really match up with its size. So I think takedown should be at least a three-hit KO. Or at most a three-hit KO, I guess I should say. For a bunch of cotton in your face while you're sleeping, your speed drops by two stages. Takedown. Takes down your HP. You know what I didn't notice was the level was 40. We're going to probably want to switch. I don't even have a switch yet. I still don't even have a Wii U. I've just got the Wii. But I want to switch. Alright, let us... Oh, at the assist, get some HP back, and we gotta switch out. <sighs> we'll go into Snag Sire. We could mud shot this thing. <coughs> Pardon me, as long as you don't have freeze dry, which of course doesn't exist yet, so I'm not actually worried about it, we'll be golden. Let's get back 3 HP. Perfect use of synthesis right there. Watch it go for like Blizzard or something, and then we just barely start with 3 HP. That would have been amazing, but it stays asleep. Let's slow you down again as we go for our mud shot. Hopefully, it does half what's remaining. It is Stab, and I believe we're more physically offensive than Knocked Owl is. I should say Quag Sire is more physically offensive. Come on, Snag Sire. Take it down by half. You should be faster now with all those cotton spores. Nice. It's not fully accurate, but we do land it. Man, a critical only did half of what it had left. This is taking forever. Oh, it might have rest. Good. I was just like, don't have rest. Sense. Okay, hang on. Sense it might have rest. I'm considering using Ether for the Mega Drains, but let's try to put it to sleep first. If we can keep it asleep and mud shot it twice more, we get the knockout. Good. All right. We don't need to use our Ether. Those are better safe for actual dangerous battles. This is just a time waster. Is what this is. Good time to talk about my plan. Pokemon Go. Now, you'll see this in the video when I compile it all for my Zapdos hunt, but tomorrow, I plan to conquer as many gyms as I can. But what I'm doing in Go right now, I'm hoping eventually we're going to... Oh, that lowers the speed too there. I'm hoping we're going to see ribbons in Pokemon Go. What I would love to see is each Pokemon can uh, earn certain ribbons based on certain in-game accomplishments. Like maybe if you complete, say, a thousand battles with that Pokemon, you get a ribbon for that or something like that. So I'm starting to use, you know lesser Pokemon, lower CP Pokemon, to take down gyms as I whittle down the Pokemon in the gyms to those lower levels. It's kind of cool. It's like, you don't often get to see, for example, my Squirtle took down a Rhydon at one point. You never see people use Squirtle. You know? At least I don't. So, I like using it. Jerks. I'll never become the champ if I'm losing here. That is right. 800. We can't access the... Uh, save spot here yet, though. Ah, oh, shoot! I'm not giving up till I win to the Coliseum and get me a Shadow Pokemon of my own. See ya. Wait, can we save here? Wait, there was a save spot in that... There is a save spot here! Yes! It appears my grandchild recently joined something called the Kids Grid? Since then, I get this feeling that parts have been slowly disappearing from the shop. Those two must be related. When the Under used to be a mining town, the junk shop's owner used to drive the, be the tr train driver. But where is this railway supposed to be in the Under? I've never seen it. Maybe it's under here. Nope. What is in this area? Hello, kids. Where's your grids? Oh, sheesh. What should I do? I have to make a delivery, but I'm still not done cleaning. I know. Delivery boy. Right here. Hey, wait. Wow. Aren't you Chaz and Rui? Who wants to know? Huh? How do you know who we are? I thought so. This makes things easy. Please, can I get you to deliver this part to Nets house? Yes. But, wait. Just tell Net that it's from Purr. He'll tell you the details. Net's house is the one with the big rotating antenna dish. You'll know which one it is as soon as you see it. 
Okay, well, we ain't got time for that today, little boy, because by the way, we have to go save the game because we are at time. This was quite an eventual, event, eventful, eventual. Never mind, something's going on. Venus, what is your situation? Well, a couple of mice appear to be running loose in that scour, but it's nothing to worry about. We'll catch them right away, pulverize and mash them up. <laughs> Fine. The priority is to distribute Shadow Pokemon. Don't forget. Oh, I'm doing the Batman voice. I can't help it. As for you, Ayn, hurry. Complete the Shadow Pokemon's development as soon as possible. Your trust will not be misplaced, Master Nascawa. Already, sufficient Shadow Pokemon battle data has been gathered from our minions. My masterpiece, the most powerful Shadow Pokemon in history, shall soon be ready. Good. I will be awaiting for good news. Or just plain waiting. That is all. Now, it is time we return to the lab and put the finishing touches. Put on the finishing touches. No one can read their lines. It's their fault, not mine. Look at this guy, also. Look at the hair. What is. Dude, combs. Find them. Come back to the lab. Yes, sir. Who's this guy? He looks important, this other guy. Not in any way generic. Ever mentioned I'm sarcastic in a way? Alright, let us go in here. We're not gonna save it till I know the audio is fine. Of course, that is our standard routine, but we are at time for today's episode. Thanks for watching, everybody, and of course, if you enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon State. Uh, Coliseum. Feel free to hit the like button down below. And if you enjoyed my wide range of voice acting. Feel free to drop a like for that as well. If you want to leave any comments on this series, of course, feel free to do so here or this video in particular and what you're looking forward to in the future of our Pokemon Coliseum playthrough. If you missed any episodes, there is a link in the description to the full playlist. And for more Pokemon content on the channel, click on some of the links during the outro to some more videos. And you can always subscribe to the channel by clicking my face during the outro as well for more daily Pokemon content. And with that, we are now done. I have to go rest my voice. I just recorded for like an hour and a half straight. I gotta get up early to find Zapdos and go tomorrow, too. I gotta talk to her in that. It's time for rest. Professor Chaz is signing off. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.